Hallelujah, wonderful people of God. You are welcome on the show, God's Word for today. This message is brought to you this and every Sunday. You can keep watching and keep sharing to bless many souls, and God will bless you. I'm your brother, Richmond. Stay tuned and enjoy God's Word. Remember, we are streaming live on Facebook, and we are also live on YouTube. Ashtown TV. Keep sharing to bless many souls and your life will never be the same. Stay tuned as we begin to fly. Beloved, let's have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we bless you for such a day like this. We thank you for your word, your grace, your mercies upon us as a people. We thank you for the life of the world, the life of Africa and the life of Ghana. We pray that, Lord, may you speak to us and bless millions of souls that are watching us right now. Let your hand take preeminence in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you the glory for the power in your word. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Let somebody say amen. amen. Beloved, I'm about to speak to you on a very important subject that transformed my life. The day I encountered the Lord in that word, my life has never been the same. And it has changed my life. And God has given me the privilege to share that same word with you. And I believe strongly inside me that as you hear and stick to this word of God, your life will never ever be the same. Fasten your seatbelt. Stay tuned. Keep watching. Share to bless others as we enter into God's word. I am speaking to you on the subject and title, The Word and the Spirit of God. The Word and the Spirit of God. Jesus Christ was the Word. Jesus Christ came speaking concerning the kingdom of God. And he said, the kingdom of God can be likened to ten virgins. Jesus Christ used many parables describing the kingdom of God. And one of them was what he used in Matthew chapter 25, verse 1 downwards. Matthew 25, verse 1 downwards. The Bible said that Jesus Christ likened the kingdom of God to ten virgins. Says that the ten virgins were invited to go and meet a bridegroom. All of them took their lamp. But on their way, something happened. And when they reached there, the Bible said they all slept because the bridegroom delayed. And the Bible said that when they wake up, they had a call that the bridegroom was coming. But five of them, the Bible qualified them wise and other five foolish. So we will look at these verses and we will know why some were wise and some were foolish so that we will live our life according to the principle of the five wise virgin so that our life become wise for the bible says that live with the wise and the counsels of the wise and you will become wise hallelujah let's move in all of them were virgins they were all qualified to meet the groom but the bible said five were wise and five were foolish Five were wise and five were foolish. So it's time to reason and to ask yourself, why all the ten were qualified? They were all invited. They were all on the same scale. What did the five did? What that was so special that qualified them to be wise and the others were foolish or unwise? Let's look at Matthew 25, verse 3 and 4. And it will, it will qualify it. Yes, verse 3, thank you. Verse 3, it says that the foolish took lamp and no oil. The foolish took lamp but took no oil. But the wise took lamp and also took oil. Let's get this very clear. Virgin for no yet 10 and yet 2 and suffering when you but Bible says, "Emu numi enyan safu, emu numi yang kwasi afu." Didn't you numi enyan safu? Then numi yang kwasi afu. Bible says, "Emu num efu Kenya, no efu Kenya nechi no san fa ngo de kahun nang kwasi afu ne di ana wone wone mnyansa no wafa Kenya no 
one fan one fan come home we will come to the understanding say what does the lamp stands for and what does the oil stand for so that in life you know that we should go with the oil and we should go with the lamp we should go with the lamp and we should go with the oil I see who said dear kenyan no na dear so ne ehun no say we say abrabo mu say be timi akoya ni e be timi wie ya ji say nya kenyan no nya say nya ehun no what is the lamp kenyan no any dia dia Psalm 119 verse 105 Psalm 119 verse 105 yes i read Bible said the word of the Lord is a lamp unto my feet. A radiasem yemenaisi kenia. The word of the Lord is a lamp, not like a lamp, but it is the lamp unto my feet. So sa lamp ya ne ukura the ten virgins, the lamp that the ten virgins were holding. It was the word of God. That means all the ten knew the word of God. They were all Bible students. They were all having the word. They were born of the word. That is even why they were virgins. But the word was not enough. The Bible said, the five wise took extra, which is oil. They added oil to the lamp. So the lamp plus the oil they said together will guarantee our destination the lamp plus the oil will guarantee us to meet the bridegroom the lamp plus the oil will send us to our destination so let us add the oil to the lamp what is the oil we know from scriptures that the oil represents the spirit of god the spirit of god let's look something from isaiah 48 verse 16 isaiah 48 16. what does the oil stands for the bible said god and his spirit sent me god and his spirit sent me so men of god we are being sent by god he gives us his word not only the word but also with his spirit we are not carnally minded we are not only religious but we are also moving with the spirit of god to understand this very well let's get back to genesis because in your life any matter that you want to have the full understanding anything that you want to understand in your life anything that you want to have the full understanding you need to go to genesis because that is the beginning that is where everything began the word and the spirit from the beginning that is how it has been god even in his creation created things by the word and by the spirit not by the word alone and not by the spirit alone not by the lamp alone not by the oil alone but the oil and the lamp to produce the light by the word and by the spirit for things to be created so when you read genesis chapter number one verse one to three genesis chapter one verse one to three in the beginning god created in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of god get this clear and the spirit of god was upon the waters and verse 3 god said let there be light and there was light let there be light and there was light in fit that is john chapter 1 but genesis says that so it stands to reason say it is like a male and a female for a child to be born we need a male and we need a female for them to come together so when god said let there be light it was not only the word but the spirit was in action the spirit was already bruising upon the face of the water 
So the spirit was waiting for the word. So when God released the word and let there be light, it catch up with the spirit. The light was being produced. Like a man coming together with a woman. The man only cannot produce a son. And the woman only cannot produce a son. But when it comes together, when the word and the spirit comes together, there is a creation. If you read the Hebrew, it gives you clear understanding. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. The Hebrews reads, Barashid bara Elohim et ashamayim veat haris veharis haita tohu vebohu vek hoshek al pene tehum veruak Elohim merahefet al pene hamayim. Verse 3 says that, Bayome Elohim veyehi o vayehi o. Verse 2 says that I love you so much. Veruak Elohim and the Spirit of God. Veruak, the Spirit. Veruak Elohim, the Spirit of God. Merahefet al Hamayim was brooding upon the face of the waters. Verse 3. Vayome Elohim and God said, Vayehi o vayehi o, let there be light and there was light. So what the Hebrew scriptures is saying is that, before God said, let there be light and there was light. The spirit of God was already in operation, waiting for the word of God to produce the light. So the spirit plus the word produce creation, produce light in your life. Anything that you want it to manifest, you need the spirit of God. You need the word of God. You need the power in the word of God. One problem that Jesus Christ had in his days with the Sahindris, with the Pharisees, with the Sadducees, with the rulers of the temple was that they were all religious and not with the spirit. They were holding only to the letter, not the spirit. But the Bible said the letter killing, but the spirit given life. And Jesus Christ said the word that I spoke unto you, they are life and they are spirit. They have life. His problem with them was that why have you forsaken the spirit of God and going only wait the letter? Because it did not begin this way because the Sahindri was inaugurated far back in the wilderness when God gave Moses the commandment, the law, the Torah, the Pentateuch, the five books of Moses. God gave them the laws in the wilderness that this is the laws of God the commandments of god so they were having the word and god said it is not enough call me 70 elders of the israels and moses called 70 people from the 12 tribe of israel and the bible said he put his spirit upon them so they had the word and now the spirit of god has also come upon them and that council was inaugurated so they were operating in the word of God and the spirit of God. But down the line, they rejected the spirit of God. And now they were operating through only the word. They were dealing with only the commandment. So in their synagogue, they were preaching but no power. They were preaching but no healing was taking place. Even though the scripture says that by my stripes they were healed, but still there was no healing. That was why when they heard the teachings of Jesus Christ, they were so surprised and amazed. And they said, how come a man teaches in power, in might like this? Because they had never encountered such teachings after Moses before. A man teaching and the blind begin to see. The cripple begin to walk. The dead begin to rise up again. Just by the teaching, the demons begin to flee and shout that he's the son of God. So Nicodemus, one of the rulers, the teachers of the law, went to Jesus and said, Master, we know that this kind of teaching that we are teaching, if God is not with you, you cannot do this. But where from this power? Show me the secret. Because we are also with the same Bible. We are also reading the same Torah. We are having these five books, but no power. Why? And Jesus Christ said to him, Nicodemus, do you know something? Unless a man is born of the spirit and is born 
of water. Matthew, he says, unless a man is born of the spirit and of water. Unless a man is born again. He said, how can I enter back to mama's womb and come back? He said, you call yourself a leader, a rabbi, a teacher, and you don't know this. Without the spirit of God, you cannot even interpret the scriptures. You cannot understand the Bible. That is why other religions misinterpret the Bible to how they understand. Because you cannot fully interpret the Bible without the spirit of God. No. That is why many people quote the scriptures, but no power. You become religious. Even in our days, some people have come to believe that there are some churches they are in for the word. They are the gentilities. They are the people who carry the word. And other so to say that they are for the spirit. They are born of the spirit. But not only the word and not only the spirit. We need the word of God and we need the spirit of God. We need the creative power of God and we leave the living person in the scriptures. Even the scriptures that we hold. The Bible says that all scriptures were inspired by God. We need the word and we also need the spirit of God. The ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit. Quoting scriptures and making declaration without being filled with the Holy Spirit will produce no results. You can quote from Genesis to Revelation. You can quote hell to heaven. But without being filled with the Holy Spirit, you will not have it profiting you. Because it is not only with the quoting, but it is the Spirit of God being inside of you. That is why the demons beat up the sons of Cephas. The Bible says they thought that their father was a high priest so they know the scriptures. So they came to encounter these demon possessed people and they said in the name of Jesus Christ we cast you out and the demons were laughing at them. <laughs> They were laughing at them. They said, who are you? For we know Paul in the realms of the spirit. We know Jesus in the spiritual world. But who are you? What spiritual grounds do you stand to cast us out? The Bible said, the demon possessed people. They beat the sons of the high priest. Strip them naked. They ran bleeding. It is a time for us to know that it is not only quoting quotation but as men of god we need to have the spirit of god we need to operate in the power of the spirit if not a man of god one of these days i challenge you you will be called to the palace you'll be called to the palace and they will show you a written on the wall many many take up her sin and they will tell you interpret but the bible said the spirit of god was upon daniel so when he was called upon the palace to interpret a writing on the wall which was the writing of god the spirit of the lord in wisdom that was upon him helped him to interpret many many tekel up hasin the king lord has calculated with you and you have found one thing and your kingdom has been divided into two fasten your seatbelt and let's keep moving let me suggest this to you for we are entering into the deep jesus was the word of god according to john chapter 1 verse 12 he was the word of god walking on the earth for 300 years for 30 years yet no one called him christ until he came to river jordan to be baptized by john the baptist listen to it very careful jesus christ was the son of god he walked on the face of this earth for 30 years yet no one called him the christ in your destiny god can put something in your destiny 
there can be a prophetic word concerning your life but until you encounter the spirit of god that thing will not come to pass and it will not materialize and i see some people coming to the knowledge of this message embracing the spirit of god and whatever that the lord have said concerning your life concerning your ministry concerning your business concerning your finances may all of them come to pass in the name of jesus christ he was on the earth for 30 years he was the christ but no one called him the christ why the bible said after he was being baptized when he was praying the spirit came upon him as a dove god spoke from the volumes of eternity to time and said this is my son so hear him god endorse the ministry of jesus christ god endorsed the ministry of jesus christ and the bible said the spirit of god led him to the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights and after that the fame of jesus christ went abroad the fame of jesus christ went abroad all over the place reverend minister pastor reverend bishop we all want our fame to went abroad our businesses to hit the next level but it takes the spirit of god with the word of god to send us that far the bible said the fame of jesus christ went through all abroad all to the regions i declare and prophesy upon someone watching me right now if you embrace the word of god and the spirit of god if you not neglect the word of god and if you not neglect the spirit of god your fame will go far and your ministry will go far your finances will go far and all the word will hear of you if you even read the book of Acts chapter 10 verse 38 the bible said how god anointed jesus christ of nazareth i love the word of god i love it so much even jesus christ the son of the living god for him to be anointed to preach hey the bible said how god anointed jesus christ of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power going around doing good healing the sick delivering people that were under the oppression of the enemy preaching the gospel even to preach the gospel the bible said christ needed to be anointed men of god why are you rejecting the spirit of god the bible said the letter kill it by the spirit give it life so i am not amazed that when jesus christ said to his disciples that you have me all around but the time has come for me to go back to the father you have the word which i have given unto you but don't step out to preach yet wait for the promise of god wait for the power of the father wait for the holy spirit so that you'll be able to preach and to make impact upon the generation so the bible said that the disciples tell it they waited in jerusalem till on the pentecost day the spirit of god came upon them like fire according to Acts chapter 2 say the spirit of them came upon them as fire and that day the spirit of them came upon them and they begin to speak in other tongues and that day peter was so charged and when peter stood up and preached three thousand men were saved and give their life to jesus christ if we will not only move with the word but we also embrace the spirit of god in our crusade in our messages born again christians will be many it will convict many of them it will cut their heart it will break in them and they will come to the saving knowledge of god not only with the letter but also with the spirit men of god it is good to go with the word but also to move with the spirit only the letter killed by the spirit given life let's look at the ministry of the spirit the ministry of the spirit if you read second Kings chapter 6 verse 5 and 6 the bible said the people went and took an axe 
they borrowed it and in the course of working the axe fell into the water and they came and said alas father for it was borrowed how are we going to tell the story and he said wow this is a challenge where did it fail they sue him and he said give me a stick he put a stick on it and what was drawn brought up and begin to flow i prophesy to someone watching me right now whatever that has sink in the life in the life of the ministry the ministry that is sinking the finances that are sinking the academia that are sinking the marriage and the peace uh, that is sinking i speak the word of the lord in the spiritual capacity on it that let it begin to float now in the name of jesus christ whatever that has sank in your life i call it to comfort in the name of jesus christ and whatever that has been stolen may be restored back to you in the name of jesus christ they said alas master for it was borrowed he spoke the word of god and through his spiritual direction the ass came back and it was being restored even to read the word of god and to understand it you need the spiritual insight the understanding peter walking on water was a miracle it was a ministry of the spirit not only quoting of the word but practicing faith which is part of the spiritual exercise an angel appeared to mary and said mary you are about to experience a supernatural manifestation you are about to experience the ministry of the spirit and mary said who me he said yes you have a baby boy even though you were a virgin and mary said how can this be he said i have given you the word but you also need a spirit i have given you the word but you need a spirit he said how can this be he said the spirit of the most high will come upon you and the power of the most high will overshadow you and what seems impossible will become possible i submit to you that what seems impossible in your life in the ministry as you have the word when the spirit of god comes upon you uh, your life will never be the same mary received the word from the angel and when the spirit of god came upon him whatever they said concerning his life came to pass and i declare to someone watching me right now whatever that is said concerning your life may it come to pass in the name of jesus christ whatever said concerning your finances whatever said concerning your life your future your children may it come to pass whatever that is written in the volumes of the book concerning your future concerning your ministry concerning the things to come may all of them come to pass in the name of jesus christ not by might not by power by the spirit of god how can this be he said the spirit of god how can elijah declare to the woman and said this flower that you have given me part to eat this flower will not finish until the whole famine is gone hey omori could we a tour into that jesus said come with your chemo answer when him said you're quoting of scriptures and gone no he was a man filled with the spirit we should not take only the word and ignore the spirit we should not also take only the spirit and call ourselves prophet prophet but prophet of god i will name them as them prophet of god i won't mean church the bible prophet of god i won't mean kai bible there is a question mark as a prophet of god doing spiritual stuff you need to be rooted in the word because because all scriptures are inspired Hired by God. To conclude, I want to declare to you if you have the lamp and the oil, then be ready for a supernatural ministry. If you have the lamp, which is the word, and you have the oil, which is the spirit, 
then be ready to move your business to the next level your ministry to the next level because the person with the lamp and the person with the oil is unstoppable you cannot be ignored you cannot be rejected you cannot be stopped no why because you have the word and you have the oil you have the word and you have the spirit do you know why the bible has lasted for all these years for nobody can pull down the bible do you know why second timothy chapter 3 verse number 16 says that all scriptures are given to the inspiration of god so the bible as you see like this it is not only the letter but there is what we call the rima also in it so it is not only the lamp but also the oil in the lamp that will keep the light always burning if you have the lamp without the oil it is a matter of time and you will be exposed to darkness but when you have the lamp and you have the oil your light will not go off. Do you know why some people, you see them on the limelight today, they are all away. But just a matter of time, you search for them and you can't see them anymore. They are in the business arena. They are in the media, in the pastoral field. You see them today and tomorrow you don't see them. Do you know why? They begin with the word. But when they had their big bellies when they had their range rovers when they are the top there then they stop doing the spiritual aspect of the life then they stop praying they stop fasting they stop practicing spiritually then they only go in as if it was only the things of the world then now they begin to lose oil and when the oil finishes the light to go down and you will not be relevant anymore so dear ministers dear people of god if you want to remain relevant keep up and up going you need to keep the lamp on and you need to be connected to the oil of god which is the spirit of god move with god and work with god and i guarantee you that your life will never ever be the same i know that you can be called but to be chosen is another thing me i am a gamelian who always says let's leave it for time i know that all that all the ten virgins were called they were qualified by five were wise five were not wise why five were wise and five were not wise because five took the lamp the word of god and also add the oil the spirit of god that make it complete you can be called a virgin but it takes the spirit of god to make you a wise virgin you can be called a christian but it takes the spirit of god to make you a solution giving christian you can be called a man of god but it takes the spirit of god to uplift you to be an exceptional man of god a man of god is a man called by god trained by god sent by god carry the oracles of god not a man only with the letter jesus christ teaching was full of power was full of miracle why because he was a man of the word himself and god has also anointed him to preach the good news even if jesus christ needed the spirit of god how much more me and you the bible said after the spirit came upon jesus christ his fame went abroad i declare someone and i dedicate you in the blood of jesus christ and i pray the lord let the spirit of god come upon you come upon your ministry come upon anything that you are doing that from today you embrace the spirit of god you embrace the word of god and even as you read the light and as you read the word of god god will enlighten you god will give you understanding the rema word will come to you and your life will never be the same thank you god bless you i'm your brother richmond i want you to share this message to bless other people 
I'll come your way same time next week. God bless you. Shalom. Peace. Bye-bye.